Hey, Jose, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm good. And you? I'm doing good. Much better. How was your weekend? Very funny because I go out with my friends and we play football. Okay. Remember, we went out. I went out with my friends. We went out. Good. And where did you play football? Excuse me? Where did you play? I play football in La Palma, Chalate. Hey, okay. And do you live in La Palma? Yes. Ooh, it's not cold in La Palma. Mm, yeah, really, really cold. Yeah, I, I imagine because here I live in I live in Santa Tecla. And in Santa Tecla, it's not cold, but it's cool. And I imagine, hmm, La Palma, Chalatenango, it has to be cold. Yes, are you busy? Yes, but many years ago, many years ago, La Palma. But I like it. I like the weather. What do you think about this? I like, I like the artist. I like that they have a lot of handcrafts. I, mm -hmm. think the pro I think for me, the problem for La Palma is the infrastructure for tourists. Uh -huh. because many of the restaurants or many of the places to visit don't have good access for the streets and you have to go in four by four or you have to go in other forms um actually uh, the street is, is is really nice yes now they have good streets yeah. uh -huh. yes because uh well and how do you say pavimental uh -huh. it's paved Save all the streets. Uh, okay. Yes, because I say I went years ago and I thought, ah, it's nice, but for some of the places, the restaurants and the places, I think, oof, it's difficult. How many years ago? Oh, many years ago, maybe I don't know, maybe nine, ten years ago. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, are you, you are invited now. Hey, thank you, thank you. Yes, I, I want to return. I I heard that near La Palma, they have um, a farm for strawberries where you can go and see the strawberries and collect fresh strawberries. Yes, uh, that is in San Ignacio. Uh-huh, uh I saw in La Palma. Yes, I saw in Facebook and I thought, hey, maybe maybe it's a good adventure. Go to San Ignacio, eh, visit La Palma, because it's, like I say, for me, many, many years that I don't go to La Palma. So uh -huh. maybe to, to see, maybe, I think maybe La Palma changed, maybe it's better, maybe it's worse. You, you never know. Uh, for, for this vacation in August, you, yes. can, you can go. Mm -hmm. And Jose, how is La Palma? The security is is okay. Is a lot of gangs? No. No, it's okay because uh, well, many people visit visit them. So okay. um, I think it's is really really secure. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And what place do you recommend? Well, La Palma, San Ignacio, and El Pital. Okay. But in La Palma, what do you recommend? To visit a store, a restaurant, a, a, a um, place? Mm -hmm. A play, uh, first one, and uh, the park, and you can visit, visit um, Placita Artesanal. Okay. It's a place called, called it. And then you can go... Hospital. Uh, there is a uh, many trips, including uh, La Palma, San Ignacio Hospital, for for example, uh, eighty dollars or uh, so, so one hundred dollars mm -hmm. for two or three days, and you can visit uh, La Palma, San Ignacio, and Hospital. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Good. And. Like me and Jose, that's what you and your partner are going to do. 
talk about your city, talk about your weekend, and ask questions. Find out. My partner lives in San Miguel. Oh, let me ask questions about San Miguel. My partner lives in Santa Ana. Let me discover how is Santa Ana? What is the life? What activities does my partner like to do? Restaurants, activities, food, places, handcraft, stores, whatever. It's okay? It's okay. All right. So let's make our groups, talk to our partners, and ask about their cities, the place, what they like to do, and things like that. Hello, Karen.
All right. We're okay. Any words? Yeah, I have a question about how do you say como trabajo de campo, eh, gira de campo, I don't know. Country life. Con country? Could you write in the chat? Like, like a country, like uh, Spain, Brazil, the same country. Country, but the another word? No, 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 country. So you live in the city or you live in the country? So, so but I don't know, but in my career, uh, we do a lot of work, uh, trabajo de campo. So I don't ah, know. But that's different. That. That's trabajo de campo. That's field work. Yeah, yeah, trabajo de campo. Ah, okay. That's field the, work, okay. Yes, because that, for example, you can be in, in the clinic and you can be a, a, a chemist and you do field work in your field. Uh -huh. El campo, but not campo physically outside. Mm -hmm. So for that is they're called fields. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Now I understand you, not for the, the farmers or the people that work in those areas. Any other questions? Okay, good. Then today we're gonna to be looking at a little bit about our neighborhood and how to describe it. Things that change in your life, in your neighborhood where you live or where you're originally from. This is from unit four, 4.1. The neighborhood has changed. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here. But the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Okay, so first, when you listen to the conversation, you can hear they are describing many things in the past, in the present, and in the future. This is the idea for mixed tenses. This is when you describe naturally. You talk about all of the different times. Are there any words you didn't know? Teacher. Excuse me, can you screen uh, to do big? It is big, but what I'm going to do, because it doesn't allow to go bigger, you, is I'm going to try and put in what's up. That way you can see it there. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Because here, this is the maximum. Because if I put normal, it's like this. Mm -hmm. But here we have. OK. So now, one more time, we listen again. Are there any words you don't know? Nowadays. Nowadays is now. The, the now for the time. This is nowadays. It's like to say just now. Uh, more or less. Uh, nowadays is for the time. For example, nowadays, everyone has a cell phone. In this time. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words?
Okay, let's listen to the rest of the conversation and try to identify what happened. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tennis? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. Okay, so what was the other thing that changed in the conversation? What was the last thing that they mentioned? The change, the books store for pizzeria. Ah, correct. They changed the bookstore for pizzeria. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what about we're going to do is we're going to talk, take a moment and talk with our partner about your neighborhood. Imagine in your neighborhood, what has changed? Is it the same? Have things gone different? Uh, do you still have the, the same type of uh, stores, restaurants, uh, schools, different things? Maybe churches, maybe the church doesn't exist, okay? So, we're ready? Ready. Okay, good. Remember also to ask more questions to your partner about the neighborhood, the different places. Oh, where did you used to play? Oh, does it you continue? Things like that, okay?
Okay. Teacher. Any words? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's correct to say when uh, in my neighborhood for security, uh, they have portones. Is okay to say gates. It correct. They have gates. Normally in the United States and other countries, they say it's I live in a gated community. Gay community no, community no, is no like gay, no gay community, gated. Gated community. Gated community. It's mm -hmm. like say what? The the community has a gate. Mm -hmm. But it's like say is close the streets. Correct. Correct. Normally gated community, the idea is uh, the street is closed, maybe you have security. There is no exit, no entry for other people, mm -hmm. like, a, like a private area. This is the gated community. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Any other words? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yes. Uh, how do you say uh, the change? to in the street, for example, when, I don't know, polvosa to pavimentar? I don't know, or, or yes, or that? Correct. Like that. That means that before it used when, to when be- When it still changed that. Uh, used to be a dirt road. Is and polvo, now, right? I don't know. Uh -huh, the name is dirt road. And now it is a paved road. Road. Uh -huh. dirt or street. Road in oh, okay. mm -hmm. You can say a dirt street, okay. uh, uh, but you. is dirt road is the most is the common. It's a dirt road, and now it's a paved street or a paved road. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now let's take a look at how we're going to contrast in the past, present, and future. What can we use to contrast between the past, present, and future? Okay, for this, there's a small uh, section here, a video where we're gonna learn some vocabulary to help us. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many. Okay. So, as you can see, we have some expressions. In the past, we tend to use the word ed. Also, we use the words with, for example, used to. This means before yes and now no. Or in the negative, didn't use to means before no and now yes. So, there are two forms used to. That means in the past is positive. Didn't used to in the past is negative. So as an example, in my city, I am from, San, I, I live in Santa Ana. So in Santa Ana, didn't used to, didn't used to have a mall. That means before no and now yes, okay? Also in the present, we have different forms. We can use the present continuous, which is is growing, is playing, is different forms with ing or in the simple present. For example, just a verb. What do the actions that people do now? People drive, eat, work, things like this, okay? And then in the future, we have three different ways. We use will, going to, or we use the models like might, may. Okay, and those are the different ways. Now we're gonna watch the video and see how they explain it to make it easier for us to understand. Many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. 
Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years. Okay. I, it sounds like there's a little problem in the video, but the idea is that we go from left to right. You begin all oh, in my Santana, Sonsonate, wherever you are from. Ah, a few years ago, not many people lived here. Ah, then you mix with now or in the future. So you can mix, you can skip. For example, you can go past and present. You can go past and future. You can go past, present, and future. You can have different ways to describe how the things are, okay? But that's the idea for contrast. Contrast is what is different from before, now, or the future. That's the idea for these different vocabulary. Soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use. Just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life questions that you may use. Okay. So first here, write it down because you're going to use it in the practice with your partner. When you want to talk about the past, we are going to use, or we can use three different forms. For example, at that time, in the past, or then, okay? The same as the other expressions that we learned, like used to or the verbs in the past tense. Also, when you want to talk about the present tense, we can use the words like currently in the meantime and now. Do you understand what currently in the meantime and now mean? No teacher, no, and really. can you repeat currently, please? Currently is for example, Forward. correct, currently is in this okay. moment. Mm -hmm. This is currently. Currently I'm teaching a class. That means in this moment. Currently, I work at, and then SEPA, for example. This is currently. In the meantime is, ah, the, my boss is absent or my job is, uh, is, not my, is not my favorite job. But in the meantime, that is at this time. Is the meantime is in this period. Mm -hmm. Teacher, can you use in this moment? You can use in this moment, but it's right now. It's the same. It's similar. In, in this moment, is in, in right now. In the okay. meantime... And when you use currently, what do you mean exactly? Uh, like uh, actually? Uh, more or less. Actually, it's different. But yes, like in Spanish, is the actually. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, when, where, where, where is... Perhaps when ah, this is for example is a maybe. Perhaps can, perhaps can you maybe. can you uh, uh can you uh, repeat the word? Perhaps is perhaps. maybe. Perhaps perhaps is maybe. It is same. The same as what as maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like a maybe, exactly. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so in this case, currently is, uh, you say that is for this moment. So Correct. meantime is for a long uh, period of time. No, in the meantime is at, at that period of time. So is in the meantime is normally for two actions at the same time. Oh, um, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So I am waiting, I go, I go shopping with my wife, okay? So my wife likes to go in for clothes, I, but the clothes is like one hour, putting on the shirt, the pants, the shoes. In the meantime, I will have a coffee. It's okay in the meantime? Yeah, so it is in, um... I don't know, while you are waiting for only for- Similar, anything. yes, yes, exactly. That is the idea, while. While is in the meantime. While the person does one action, I do the other in the meantime. It's okay, the other words? Yes, teacher. All right, let's see in the future. Future expressions, in the next couple of years, next in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Okay, so now with those expressions that are there, I'm going to send to the WhatsApp group, but with those expressions, we are going to complete sentences, okay? so. Sentences in the past, sentences in the present, sentences in the future. All you're going to do is use those expressions and complete it, okay? For me, I'll give you an example. As a child, I used to watch cartoons, but nowadays I watch movies or uh, biographies. Uh, maybe in the future, I'm only going to read books because I don't like to watch TV. I get bored of watching the same things. It's okay how I use it. I use the different tense. I contrast the past with my life now, and maybe I imagine the future. Okay, the, these are in the WhatsApp group. But the idea is now you're going to complete the sentence. And remember, it's not only complete. You want to contrast. So past, present, and future, and try to put into one statement. It's OK or one more example? I think that I need my, one more example. OK, no problem. Thank you for telling me, Cesar, that way I can give you one more example. Let me share the screen again. Cesar, select one of the uh, statements. Uh, the last one, in 10 years. In 10 years. I... Okay, in 10 years, I might, I might live in the volcano because right now I am saving money to buy a house. I used to live in a very small house, but I want to live in a very big house in the future. Okay. You see, I, I put my plan for the future, what I'm doing now, how my life changed. That is the idea. For one statement and you complete with your ideas. Like a comparison. In, in the... Yes, just like a comparison. But remember you have three times the past, the present and the future. Only use the grammar correctly. If you are in the present, if for example, me, no, I say money. No, I, I am saving money because I am doing this moment, right? For example, in the first one, no, I watch cartoons. No, I used to watch because it's in the past. In sentence number two, five years ago, I, with ED, I watched, I watched. Uh, animus. Now I don't like animus. 
So the important is correct the grammar, past, present, or future, but you need to use the grammar correctly. Okay, we ready? It's yes, okay sir. now, yes? Yes, sir. Okay, excellent. All right, so use those statements and describe with your partner. Remember, you have to give complete, the complete past, present, and future for each sentence, for each structure. Hey, Monica.
I have a question. Yeah, of course, Cesar. Uh, what is uh, the correct meaning of near future? Because a near future uh, may be like a month or a week or a year. But I don't know what is the uh, what includes near future. Near future includes everything within ninety days. Uh, one example, please. I, I I don't know. In in a week, for example, this is a, a, a near future. The same is in Spanish. What is pronto? Oh, okay. So the the same because when you talk about time, time is relative. So depend the activities for it. For example, the volcano of San Salvador is going to erupt in the near future, but the near future for volcanoes maybe is fifty years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. But for humans, is not in the near future. Right, it's yeah. 50, uh -huh. so it's the same as the same as in Spanish. When depend the the relation for what you are talking about is the near future, for more time oh, okay. or less time. Mm -hmm. Teacher, and what is different nowadays with with currently? Ah, uh, okay. So it's and uh, nowadays is going to be like this. Currently is actualmente. Nowadays is hoy en día. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So when you use currently, it's a little bit more in this moment. And nowadays is more in general. Any other words? No, no questions? All right, perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a moment and discuss many things in history, how life was before the automobile, how the people did before the supermarkets. Imagine the life before Super Selectos. What happened? Uh-huh. What happened 500 years ago? What happened today in most offices today? What happens? for the cities nowadays, in the future, what happened, what is going to happen soon or in the next hundred years and the same sometime in the future. So with your partner, you are going to complete the sentences with, your, with what the information is here. So with your partner, you complete the sentence according to the time, past, present or future to, for each of those situations, okay? You have eight situations in this is from 4.4, .4, exercise 4.4 .4 in the platform. You ready? All right, let's go.
All right, Cesar, any questions? No, teacher. All good. That's All good. right. Great, great. All right, so we're going to pause right there, and then we're going to check tomorrow and help us review a little bit about what is the correct way on how to describe past, present, and future, and also make contrast. Yes? Okay. okay yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. I appreciate okay. it. Have a nice night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.